Hi, we're at DSCI UK 2025. We are now with uh, Lados UK, who is unveiling the Sea Dagger. It is uh, their proposal for uh, an upcoming requirement for the Royal Navy and uh, Royal Marine Corps. Uh, it's called the Commando Insertion Craft, the name of the program, and we're going to find out all about it with the Chief Executive of Lados UK, Adam Clark. Adam, good morning. Thanks for welcoming us. Morning. Welcome to our stand. What can you tell us about uh, the, the Sea Dagger? It's a new product, uh, you broke cover at the SCI, so what is it? Yeah, so we know in the UK there's a, a modernization of the Commando Force program, and within that there's something called the Commando Insertion Craft Requirement, which is at the heart of all the Commando modernization. With that, we have this vessel here where we're looking to deliver our Sea Dagger product to, to enter that marketplace to deliver the Commando Insertion Craft for the UK. Can you share with us uh, some of the mission sets and uh, specifications of this uh, vessel? Yeah, and a number of those requirements unfortunately are, are closed because they're UK specific requirements. But if I can be really clear, this vessel is designed for stealth, it's designed for speed, it's designed for endurance, it's got to quickly get in and out of theatre, it's got to be not seen for a, for a long amount of time, and it's got to be able to deploy troops and vehicles onto various different uh, locations around the world. So it's got to be designed for high sea states, low sea states, in different, uh, ter different terrains, different geographies, and it's got to go in stealthily and get out quickly. I see that, the, that there's a ramp at the stern, so it uh, loads and unloads vehicles from the stern. Uh, why, why is that? Yeah, so loading and unloading from the stern gives you much more accessibility to what goes into the, into the cabin. It also allows you to enter stealthily, so you really need to have a, a vessel that can go in quick and go in stealthy, be, not be seen for actually deploying the troops into the theatre. So by having this sort of uh, design, it allows you to go in quickly, stealthily, turn, deploy quickly and get out of there quickly. Uh, Lados acquired uh, Gibson Cox, their famous uh, US uh, Naval Architect uh, Bureau. Uh, do, we have, do they have uh, any role in this uh, project? Yeah, so, so first and foremost, the intellectual property for this is Lidos UK. So it's a UK design that we have here and we will be building it in the UK. In order though for us to perfect this model, we're going to work with our counterparts in Lidos US. So Gibson Cox are part of the defence system sector and we have experts in terms of vessel design and mission performance. So we will be utilising their skills to refine what is a British design. On the same display, uh, you're showcasing the Sea Archer, uh, which is a USB. Uh, and actually, it came out during the SCI that uh, one was just launched in, in Australia. Yeah. How does the two relate? So the clever piece of, of, uh, of this system is its, uh, is its technology. It's an autonomous vessel, it will work with command and control systems that will interface with other autonomous vessels, such as the Sea Archer there. So this will be connected in a system. You know, it's not one single vessel, it will connect with multiple different uh, uh, sort of surface vessels, but also it'll have command and control features to talk not just to Sea Archer, but also to airborne platforms and to, to others as well. So the technology is what's at the heart of this, and that's why Lidos has a fantastic offering, because it's the technology and systems integration that really differentiates this piece of equipment. Lastly, Adam, uh, what's the current uh, situation with the CIC uh, program? So the program is published as being a requirement, so this is absolutely going to go ahead. The actual uh, next stage of the process is moving into next year with the, the Royal Navy, and we intend to submit this, uh, this product to, to win the competition. All right, Adam, thank you very much. Thank you.